everybody. Welcome back to the 4% Entrepreneur. It's good to have you here. My name is Vic. And uh, how's everybody doing today? Hi, guys. What's up? Charity, good to see you. Lee McComery, great to see you guys. All right, today we're going to talk about brand building. Man, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. It's going to be a million dollar idea. You know, if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're uh, uh, a business owner, entrepreneur, no matter who you are, Okay, I'll make sure that we are actually, everything is good. We are live, if you guys are on 4%.com, we're gonna be hanging out here. Okay, so let's see. Um, making sure. What's up, Michael Taylor? What's up, Cameron, Gina? Okay, hey everyone. Okay, so a couple, couple household of, uh, announcements for you guys. So if you are in 4%, I'll be putting out a, an important announcement later on today, so you guys watch for that. Uh, it'll be in your 4%.com dashboard on the news and updates widget. So, so you know, look out for that uh, probably around maybe uh, sometime later on this evening. Okay, so we'll have a, a big announcement coming up. That is great. Number two, if you're not on 4%.com yet, right? If you have been tuning into the 4% Entrepreneur Shows, if you resonate with these ideas, stuff that we talk about here, if you really wanna go and take your learning to the next level, get more in-depth uh, uh, trainings, become part of our community, feel free to open up an account over here, if you're on 4%.com, right? Um, you can uh, create yourself an account for free and uh, love to have you guys be part of our community. We're talking about ideas, strategies, you know, things, um, methods, mindset, thinking, actions, you know, that take you to the top uh, as an entrepreneur. I think it's, uh, I think that's why we start you know what we do. I think that's why uh, I, I became an entrepreneur, and I think that's why you, uh, a lot of you guys watching this became an entrepreneur because um, I think we want to make our difference first and foremost for ourselves, you know, for others. And uh, and man, if we can do that, you know, as as we're doing whatever we're doing, helping ourselves, helping our families, making sure that you're happy, you know, you're excited about what you're doing, you're looking forward to the day, to the future, to what it is that that, that you're building something that fires you up personally and you're making a difference for somebody else, I think that's ultimate, okay? What do you guys think? I think that's ultimate, but see that the process of how do we do that, okay? How do you create something that inspires you, that, that is motivating to you personally, something that you love to do and you're making money with it and you're making a difference, right? Well, money is really a byproduct of really what you're doing, right? So if we're making a difference in the in a particular industry, if we pr bring more value to the industry, to the community, to a particular company maybe, right? Even if we don't have a company. Uh, but every one of us have, has a company. You know, you are a company of you, of you, right? I'm a company of me. So I remember when I got started, I did not have a company, but I had a company, right? The company was me. I did not understand it in, in the beginning. I did not, you know, I was thinking, well, if I don't have an office building, if I'm working from this kitchen table all by myself in the, in the beginning, well, you kind of see yourself as this little somebody who's trying to make it, right? So if we can figure out um, some of those secrets, right? Once we get, once we become aware of some of these mindsets and, and, and these hacks for yourself, because, you know, a lot of times we have to, we have to hack our own mindset, our own thinking, um, you know, to kind of put ourselves mentally on a path to success. Uh, one of those things is, is, is like, taking a look at what you're doing, how you're building your, your thing, what you're doing, doesn't matter what it is that you're doing, it's not about what it is that we're doing, a, as it is about how we're doing it that matters, okay? I think it goes without saying that, you know, we all wanna do great things, we all, all wanna make a difference. How can we make a difference? Uh, money and all that good stuff that we're looking for is a byproduct as a result of us making certain difference, right? Now, how do we do that and build a brand out of it is really, really important. Okay, I wanna talk to you about brand building today. How do you build a rock solid brand? I didn't understand it myself. I had to learn um, a, lot of, a lot of things along the way over the last 14 years. I'm gonna share with you some ideas, some, some things that I think will, um, will be helpful to you. And I promise you, for one person here watching me right now, I don't know if it's you or some, somebody else, I just know that for a fact. There's gonna be one person watching me, okay? Um, this particular show and they'll hear this idea and they'll take it to heart and they'll ponder on it and they'll go and, uh, and, and really get behind this idea and maybe make a little bit of a pivot in their business 
and they will become the next greatest success story in our industry. Okay, that's going to happen. I, I, I'm, I, I wholeheartedly believe in that. I just don't know who that's going to be. Okay. Paul Oleferenko, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Those guys that don't know, Paul is our support manager. He moved. Can you believe that? He used to work right here at the headquarters, 4%. Their family moved to a different state, you know, family-related situations. And, um, but he is, still, he is still your man if you're in 4%. You know, the, him and, 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 and our support team are doing a phenomenal job out there taking care of you guys. Filling the gaps, Cameron says. Yes? Okay. Um, so check it out, right? So, so why, you know, okay, a lot of people are like, all right, I've got, I've got this thing, you know, I've got this, this pen I'm selling over here, or this marker I'm selling, or this digital product, or this e-commerce thing, or I'm just an affiliate marketer, I'm building a team, I'm building who, whatever it is that you're doing, and they're just doing that, right? So a lot of people, a lot of people have no brand, okay? And you know what these people are, are usually telling to, to themselves? What they're usually saying and kind of how they justify is that, well, I'm not a big shot. I don't really, I just, I'm, I'm just here because I just want to make money. Dude, I'm, I'm, these markers are terrible. Hey, Vlad, can you get me a marker? <laughs> Actually, what I'll do is I'll do, uh, I'll do this. Okay, a lot of people are, it's, it's fine. I'll just do the, 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 the blue one. Okay, so a lot, of you, a lot of these guys are like, well, I'm not a big company. I will, I will become a brand when I get big enough, right? And, um, and I think that's a mistake. I think the moment you decide, the moment we decide to become an entrepreneur, the moment we decide to do, thank you, uh, to do something, right, we are, we are a brand, okay? So what's the difference between a brand uh, and no brand, okay? A brand versus no brand, okay? People that are trying to make money, not focusing on building themselves as a brand, okay, they are, uh, I think, <laughs> what are you laughing? I think they're running, I think it's a spiral, it's a downward spiral, right? <coughs> um, there's no stability, there is no future, there is no, there is no equity in the business. It's, 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 re, it's restart, it's restart from, just throw it. It's restart from day, you know, from over, uh, from, from scratch over and over and over again, every single day, every single week, right? Not a really good strategy. Glad you got rid of the green, okay, good. Jackie says, not going to be able to join the conversation because driving home from work and I'm here. Okay, great. Not rememberable. Exactly, right? So I, I don't know. It's like most people are over here, right? And when I got started online, I was promoting somebody else's program, somebody else's deal. I was just like everybody else. This pool of people, right? Pool of people over here trying to compete, trying to, uh, trying to win right, promoting the same similar product or the same product or the same company, doesn't matter what it is that, that people are doing, like you're fighting for, fighting for attention. Most people are here, there's no brand, okay? Some people, um, some people stand out. Some people be like, you know what, I'm gonna be over here and I'm gonna build my brand. I can leverage this, but I can build my brand over here. Uh, I'll show you guys some, some examples, okay? Let me, uh, let me share with you my screen. How many of you guys are familiar with uh, share my screen here. There is a site called Addicted to Success. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So here is an example of somebody, okay, Joel here. Uh, a very simple concept, right? He started out. Um, he started out as a as a blogger, right? Very very humble beginnings. And slowly, you know, one brick at a time, you know, he built himself a nice little brand called Addicted to Success, right? And if you guys don't know his story, a uh, pretty phenomenal story to listen to and, uh, and learn about, right? Very, very simple setup. It's a simple blog, okay? But he built himself a brand, okay? So if we do, th the thing is, is this, we can be doing the work regardless, right? If I have a brand, I have something that I'm building towards. I have something that I am, uh, uh, that I'm becoming, right? Something that I have, a, I have a, a, fu a vision, I have a future, right, that I'm building towards. Um, I'll give you guys another example, um, a very glaring one, all right? 
Um, I'll point out some websites here for you, just for example purposes. Some of these guys, I know some of them I know of, right? About and um, uh, but it will it will give you a contrast as to you know the, the the difference between this approach versus this approach. Let's take a look at this in terms of affiliate marketing, right? So as an affiliate marketer, there's a lot of people. You know, right now we have a program coming out called the Four Percent Challenge for affiliate marketers specifically. It teaches you how to be an affiliate marketer but build yourself a brand. Okay, and I'm about to show you um, an example that will blow your mind. Okay, so a lot of affiliate marketers are just running an offer. CPA offers, doesn't matter, affiliate offers, right? And they're like, okay, can I just make a sale? And every single week, every single day, they're starting from scratch, okay? There's another, uh, there's another site I wanna show you here of one affiliate marketers, or one of the affiliate marketers that uh, started his um, approach. He, you know, instead of taking this approach, like most affiliate marketers out there, he took this approach, okay? Let me show you this site right here. Go back and share. Okay, so that site is, smartpassiveincome.com, okay? Some of you guys might know who this guy is, Pat Flynn, okay? Uh, so here's an example of an affiliate marketer who started uh, to focus on his brand as an affiliate marketer. So look, I don't care if you just starting out in this industry. Let me show you, okay? So he's got a simple side here, and of course, this is his hub. This is the, it goes back to the concept I'm preaching about building your home on the internet, okay? Um, what I like about how what you know what he is doing here uh, personally, and this is just example purposes, you guys, right? So Pat is a is a cool dude, you know, smart marketer, and this is the concept that I'm preaching over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, the, the biggest difference, look. So he publishes these uh, reports, right? As an affiliate marketer, look. In the last 12 months, for example, he made two million dollars. Okay, and so over here, as an affiliate marketer, by by focusing on building a brand. Okay, and doing what I'm preaching here, okay, about multiple streams of income, about having your home on the internet, okay? He documents this thing here, and let me see if we can, uh, if we can do this. Income summary here, okay, but I wanna show you guys something here. By having your own home on the internet, he breaks it down, a lot of reading here, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so check it out. Look at this income stream breakdown, okay? As an affiliate marketer, look at some of these, and this is again, public, public data, right? So this, these are monthly, okay, which whatever month this was, like December or something like that, right? So A. Weber paid him 1,300 bucks, okay? Uh, this affiliate offer paid him 2,200 bucks. Bluehost hosting company, right, 27,000, 22,000, 27,000, okay? This convert kit, which is like an autoresponder, right? 36,000, okay? Um, create awesome online courses, whatever that is, 3,000 bucks. But as you can see, most of that income, okay, for him, came from having his own home and a brand on the internet as an affiliate marketer. He doesn't, he doesn't own any of these companies, okay, but these companies pay him money, okay? Lead pages, you know, 6,000 bucks, Market Samurai, 261, whatever, right? Everything kind of adds up, right? Now. Teachable, you know, 5,400 bucks, what a WP wish list, 16 bucks, but hey, 16 bucks, that you know, it's uh, pays for your extra drink or something like that, you know what I mean? Book sales, course sales. Now look at this, okay, so he's got, as a brand, right, he's got uh, a couple courses here, and again, I'm not, like, this is not an endorsement, I don't know much about, this is just an example purpose, right? Um, I have zero zero interest in you know in showing you this in, in terms of like I don't get there, there is no affiliation with me and Pat you know uh, at the moment for you know, uh, about anything okay so I'm just showing you this as, as an example as a good example of building your home on the internet as an affiliate marketer okay so course sales look he's got a course uh, that he is selling affiliate marketing he only made 994 bucks in a month right selling that okay. Uh, power up podcasting, forty thousand. So forty thousand out of, you know, what was that? Out of one hundred sixty-seven thousand. Okay, come back to me. So what that what that shows you, right? Is that shows you the power of, uh, dude, like the stuff that that we <laughs> we keep on talking about here. Do you guys see the 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 importance, right? Of of how you run, how you how you take your structure, how you take a road, and and the path that you decide to do. Okay. So the, the work that you're going to be doing anyways, a lot of these affiliate marketers are out there spinning their wheels, right? They're running like 100 miles an hour, trying to make it. And like they're being just like everybody else. They're being a wandering generality, 
versus very few marketers in your space, in my space, wherever, whatever niche you're in, okay, these, some of these guys decide to go this route and build a brand around, their, around themselves, okay? If you're just getting started, it's a million dollar idea for you guys because if you don't have a home, you are homeless, okay? You are homeless. If you have, if you live, in, uh, metaphorically speaking, if you live in an apartment, right? There is no, there is no equity, there is no value, there is, there is nothing. You don't own anything. There is no, there is no net worth, nothing, okay? If you live in a home, and this is a controversial topic, I know, some people are like, especially nowadays, right? But dude, if you have an asset, this is an asset. Would you say that, you know, Pat Flynn built himself a little asset, right? Okay. See, this is the kind of stuff that if you run your business correctly, even if being an affiliate marketer, okay, those guys who are in the 4% pay very close attention because this is, the kind, this is exactly the kind of stuff I'm going to be walking you through and teaching you how to set up. We have, and we're going to be really, literally, you know, setting this whole up together uh, through the program called the 4% Success Challenge for affiliate marketers. I'm going to be walking you through the exact setup, getting your home on the internet, plugging in those income streams, building it out so that, okay, you can go as an affiliate marketer from zero, okay, to your first 10K, 100K, a million, okay? I just showed you in one year, in 12 months, Pat, being an affiliate marketer for the most part, Okay, like 80, 90% of his income, like 80% of his income came from other income sources for products he doesn't own. He's an affiliate marketer. Now, can you imagine, right, if he would have access to some, if you guys are in 4%, especially if you have attended our, you know, our, uh, uh, our live stream last night that we did in a private Facebook group about the, the ecosystem, right, that if you were to capitalize on that, okay, or something like that, Okay, I'm not here to pitch you anything whatsoever. I'm, I'm here to talk to you about concepts and ideas. Okay, that million bucks or that two million bucks could be worth, or that could be maybe eight million, or maybe ten million. Being an affiliate marketer. Okay, so what I'm what I'm here to tell you guys is, I don't care if you're a complete beginner or if you have been online for any period of time, focusing on building your brand matters and it's important. Okay, everybody agree? Okay. Now, and, and you know, and, and, and like logical argument might be, what's up, Ernest? How you doing, my man? Okay, so a lot of people's argument is like, uh, is like, you know, I don't, uh, I don't know much, okay? I'm not, uh, I'm not an advanced person. And here's the reality, everybody starts from nothing, okay? Everybody starts from zero. I started from zero, everybody else starts from zero, okay? You got, anybody know who Grant Cardone is? Right, Grant Cardone. Uh, a lot of people looking at somebody like Grant Cardone right now, s or some, you know, all these other, you know, entrepreneur celebrities nowadays, right? And they're like, oh my goodness, these people are lucky. These people got started. But uh, here's the reality: everybody starts from nothing, from zero. Okay. Some people decide to to stay here and get crushed. Some people become, you know, stand head and shoulders above everybody else. So what I want to do is I want to talk about three ingredients. Okay, the three very, very important components for you to, to build a brand the right way. Okay. Okay. So there, there is three. Um, I'm just looking at your comments. Make sure you guys are here. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, uh, if you want to go to 4percent.com uh, and then just click on on air, this is where we're hanging out with comments and all that stuff. Okay. His office is near my condo. Okay, great. El Medina. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay, so so it's possible. Okay, everybody should be building the brand. There is, I mean, I can show you guys other examples. There is, uh, there is a brand on. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, I know some people that have built great brands, like phenomenal brands, uh, based based around their passions. Okay, um, there is a there is a guy that um, um, you guys might see him. You know, he's now being um, contracted and being hired to promote and kind of endorse or or or, um, or advertise different products uh, uh, related to like men's fitness, men's health, men's grooming. I think he's got a, a channel on YouTube called Alpha M or something like that, right? You might, you guys might see him. I don't remember his name. Uh, so there are people that might, that might start out as like uh, on a platform, okay? Uh, let me, where's my eraser here? Okay, on a platform such as, for example, YouTube, okay, or Facebook. 
okay? So you can go and start a brand on a platform. So if this is YouTube right here, okay? Um, so he builds an audience over here, okay? Provides value, and then he has a home on the internet. Let me show you that. Let me see if I can, don't show that just yet. I'll, I'll show you once I pull it up here. I'll show it to you guys. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can drive this home for you. Um, what was his, um, his channel is Alpha, Alpha M, I think. Okay. Um, okay. So, so let's show this. Okay. So here's this dude, right? His his brand is Alpha M. Again, I'm not affiliated with him. You know, he's got four million subscribers. Okay, four million subscribers. What I would suggest you guys do is um, is study. Or, or at least pay attention to some of the um, y some of the companies that, that or some of the brands that become big. Okay, you will find out that it's not uh, they're nobody special. Okay, like this guy right here. Okay, um, I don't remember what's his name. If anybody can tell me, uh, anybody can tell me his name, that'd be awesome. But we'll just call him Alpha M. Okay, Alpha M. So he started out uh, just by posting simple videos on YouTube, all right, in 2008, as you can see here. So he joined the YouTube. He was a, a complete nobody. And he started talking about just men's related stuff, just whatever he was passionate about, okay? So he started growing a community, okay? And that grew into a brand, okay? Let me see if we can go to his site, maybe. Uh, Alpha M. Okay, let's see if there was a site. Yep, there you go. There you go. That's his home on the internet. Now, check it out. Okay, he's got his YouTube channel here. He's got his products. Uh, he's got his media inquiries. He, so, in other words, he grew himself from being, uh, go back to me. So, he grew himself from being just a guy with like a passion about whatever it is that he was talking about to growing and building something that other companies, big, huge companies, the you know the, the huge 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 billion dollar brands of the world now hire him right to to do business with him okay and all because he focused on building a brand all because he has a home on the internet okay so anybody if, again this goes to show you that the work that you will be doing anyways you might as well do it right okay now how do you build a brand and what is you know how do you you know what are some of the key uh, 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 key elements uh, to a brand I can tell you guys this okay number one okay is it's got to be authentic. Very, very, very important. Okay, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs, so-called entrepreneurs, are missing the point here. Okay, Aaron, uh, Aaron Marino. I think that's uh, that's his name. Yeah, Darren. Thank you. Yes, Elizabeth. Thank you. Yeah, you guys know him. Yeah, see him everywhere. Yeah, but see, like, like, like a lot of people are looking at somebody like that, and they're like, dude, he must be special. He's a unicorn, right? Until you actually dig into the story and, and just really find out what those people had to go through to build uh, to where they are today. And then you really suddenly realize, you know what? It's possible for anybody, okay? So my message to you right now is like whatever it is that you're doing, just decide that you will be focusing on building your brand. That's it, period, end of story, right? Because the work is done anyways. You might as well work smart and, and build everything to wrap around your, yourself. Darren says, big fan of his. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, if you're going to do that, it's very important for us to focus on these three ingredients. Number one is authenticity. Okay. Be authentic. What does that mean to me? Is that I got to be true to my vision. Where do I want to do? There's, there's two types of businesses that we're building. Okay. There is the business that we have now, okay? The business where we are now, and then the business um, I'm becoming. Okay, hopefully you can still see that, okay? So the business I am now and the business I am becoming. So what I need to what I need to look at, okay, yeah, you can see that, okay. So what I need to look at is the work that I'm doing now. So if I'm let's say keep it super simple, a lot of people watching this are affiliate marketers, okay. And by the way, that's you guys. That's that's a, that's a huge reason why that 
you know, we're starting out a training called the Four Percent Success Challenge for affiliate marketers is to teach people specifically, precisely, and exactly step by step how do you build that brand, right? If you're an affiliate marketer, you're promoting somebody else's product, you might have a business now that might be doing 500 bucks a month or maybe zero a month, okay? Zero to 500 bucks a month, and you see yourself as this tiny little fish in the big ocean, right? Surrounded with all these whales and sharks and you know, all these other kinds of fishes out there, right? And you're like, dude, I think uh, this is just me. Somebody else can do that. I can't. And so you just label yourself as this little mini me, and that's it. You put that glass ceiling on, your on yourself, and, and you know, that's your business now. So the way that you see your, so what we need to do is we need to have the eyes uh, of the future, right? We need to we need to move our move forward with where do we want to be at, okay? And so the business we're becoming. Whatever we're doing now is determining by default, okay? This dictates the business that we're becoming, okay? So one of the things that I say is never, ever, ever look at your current situation and define yourself by your current condition or your current situation. A goldfish, <laughs> okay? I cannot, like, I will never define myself, it, no matter how big you are. Your current situation has nothing to do or your current present conditions have nothing to do with where you're going to be, okay? It's all in your head, okay? Somebody that started out, anybody, uh, any great company, uh, the trillion dollar companies of the world, take a look at Amazon, okay? I study Amazon a lot. I study Apple a lot. I study a lot of great entrepreneurs. I study great companies, right? And every one of the, um, every one of those great companies have one thing in common, okay? They all had a very humble beginnings, 100% of them. Okay, very, very humble beginnings. Um, some of them had bankruptcies, okay? But they all persevered and they all had a vision of the future, okay? Now, as you're building this, okay, so the work that we're doing now will determine the business that we're gonna become. So it's very important for us to do the work being authentic to ourselves of the vision. So if I don't have the vision of the future, Okay, I will focus on my current condition, current situation, and the more I focus on whatever I got here, the more I'll have. Okay, so you guys all know the law of attraction, the secret all these people, you know, in personal development talk about. Well, that stuff is real, you know, but it's also, it's partially real because we also have to take action on it, okay? So if I take action focusing and reinforcing whatever that is, I will only get more of that, okay? So building a, f building a future over here and then backtracking Okay, to how I can get there, and focusing all of my attention on this, that authenticity needs to stem from here. Okay, so somebody might be like, "Well, if I'm making zero dollars, I'm going to go on Facebook and proclaim to everybody I'm I'm being authentic. Like I'm going to be authentic. I'm I'm going to tell everybody that I'm at zero. Please help me, everybody. Right? That's being stupid. That's not being authentic. That's just being stupid. Okay, you got to be smart. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to identify where do I want to be. And then for me to get there, being authentic, okay, how do I do that? Here is the thing. To me, one of the rules that, I, uh, that I've adopted a long time ago is that, is, 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 you know, I think everybody heard about it. I just internalized it for myself, and it is this. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, right? So it's very important for me to be able to identify, okay, what, what's my, what, what, are, what are my grounds, okay? What, what will I do? What will I tolerate? What will I not tolerate based on where I want to be at, okay? And so as I'm building and moving, you know, forward with my business, with building my brand, I want to make sure that that authenticity stays intact, okay? And, and I don't want to violate my own, my own rules that I set for myself. Make sense? Okay, pretty simple concept. So authentic is really, really important, okay? Make sure that me either, Dana, don't want to be stupid. <laughs> no, Dana, you don't want to be stupid. Hang on one sec here. I want to make sure because I want to show you guys some other screens here, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see you um, on this iPad. <coughs> okay. See, Steve Jobs when he started Apple, right? When he started Apple, he uh, if you guys read his autobiography, it was difficult. Right, but now Apple is a trillion-dollar evaluated company. So is Amazon. Amazon started out in a garage, right? Barely making it, barely making it. Most people would give up. And uh, okay, I see your comments now. 
Okay, and, and see, and now we have these things that change the world, right? In in, in a lot of in a lot of ways. So it's really cool. I want to encourage you guys, okay, to not never give up on that on that goal of yours. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I'm I'm going to show you some other some other stuff here in a minute. Okay. Component number two of a brand, okay, is it's got to be credible. Okay, credible. Credible. Okay, I think I spelled it right. Okay, credible. It's very important. How do I how do I do that? And, and for me, it's really simple. Okay, how do you get, how do you create credibility? Um, authenticity, credibility. These these two things kind of matter. Look, if I'm, I'll talk about my industry for example. So in affiliate marketing, you know, internet marketing world, uh, how much money you make is kind of irrelevant. Okay, it's relevant for you, but for others, it's kind of irrelevant. Okay, with in a world where everybody can fake Photoshop screenshots, you know, and 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 then you know, and, and kind of uh, uh, create videos and, and and do all kinds of shenanigans, right? Nobody, it's not like you're not going to impress anybody with your results. You know what's really important in a brand, right? Is other people that you're serving. So your brand should provide a value and should bring a value to the marketplace. Okay. As I bring value to the marketplace, so the brand that you know I'm completely focused, and the only thing I'm focused for myself for the rest of my life is four percent. Okay, so we want to build a brand that serves entrepreneurs and helps entrepreneurs do what they do at the best possible level. Okay, at the highest world-class level, whether it's affiliate marketers, later on consultants, traditional businesses, you know, on and on and on. Right. So this is my focus. So. The, the best way for me to, cr to, to be authentic is to have a stake in the ground, right? What we will tolerate, what we will not tolerate, how we're going to do this, have grounds, have boundaries, right, for our brand as it relates to our brand, our future, where we want to be at. Credibility will become, dude, how many people can I help if, if my mission for my brand is X, Y, Z, right? Here is what we want. My, my measuring stick is not even my bank account because it's easy for a brand, right, to sell a lot of products and make money, right? So transacting is pretty simple concept, right? Anybody can make a, a great sales pitch and, and sell a whole bunch of products, ethically, unethically, doesn't matter. But you know what the real measuring stick is? For me at least, right, as, I'm, as it relates to, be, to entrepreneurs here is how many entrepreneurs can we help, okay? How many success stories can we create? That breeds credibility, okay? So a, so a good component of a brand, and again, you figure out for whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Can I, okay, how can I be credible? How can I, what I do can be credible? And so you, I need to identify that, that, that key lever, right? That key data, that, that, that really important data matrix that I'll be able to measure my brand credibility, which is, in my case, how many success stories can we create? How many other entrepreneurs can we help get to where they want to go, right, and measure their success and create measurable results for them, help them get measurable results, okay? Component number three, which is a really big one, is uh, if, you if you can have a brand that's also aspirational, okay, it'll make your world a whole lot easier. See, people don't buy, uh, you know, people don't buy um, Lamborghinis because they want to have a, 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 a two door and they and they want to pay three hundred thousand for it, okay, or four hundred thousand for it, okay. So they're aspiring to something, okay. When you ladies go to a store and you buy a Gucci, you know, purse or something like that, do you really need a Gucci purse, right? I mean, you can buy uh, a purse that's that's ten dollar purse versus a, a three thousand dollar purse, right? What's the difference? Well, the difference is in branding, in it. Okay. Again, so if your brand has these three components, okay, authentic, credible, and aspirational, you will be able to build yourself a rock solid. Okay, rock solid um, foundation for many, 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 many years to come. So if I'm serving entrepreneurs, what's the aspiration for an entrepreneur? Okay, what's your aspiration? Where do you want to go? This is where you need to know your market. So if I'm selling, you know, these pans over here, right, or I'm selling light bulbs, it might not necessarily, you know, it'll be a little bit more difficult for me to, to build 
or kind of uh, weave this you know, aspiration component into my brand, into my messaging, into my advertising, right? Because it's like a light bulb. Dude. Like nobody, people just want to get. A, but if I'm in the business of working with people, right? So, for example, in our example, you work with entrepreneurs. I know that our market, right? Y a lot of you guys watching this, you aspire to a better lifestyle. So you have a business that you have, and there is a reason be beyond, be you know, behind the reason, right? There is a reason why you got started online. There is a reason why you build that company or why you want to build that company. And money, so there is a surface level desire, all right? There is a surface level desire, but there is also a core desire, okay? So surface level desire might be like, hey, I just want to make money, a whole bunch of money. And a core desire might be, you know, I just want to I just want to I just want to be free, okay? I just want to have freedom. That's that's really that's really what you're going after, right? So knowing your market, whichever market you're serving, you identify this aspiration here is going to stem from your core desire, not your surface level. So this is a means to an end. This is a means to something else. Okay? Just like somebody's buying a product, that product is just a means to an end, right? Uh, uh, a drill in a hole in a wall. Okay, that concept. Okay, I don't want to buy a drill. I want to have a painting on the wall, so I need to have a hole on the wall, that kind of, but, but the hole on the wall is not even my desire. My desire is to have a painting on the wall or something like that, right? You get the point? So if I can identify whatever that is for your market, whatever they aspire to, okay, and in your brand, okay, if, you're, if, you're, if you have these three components and you connect it to that, boom, you got, you got something that, my friend, nobody can stop you. You can build a train that will plow through anything and because what you're doing here is you're connecting with your audience okay you have connection and bond with your audience and then your audience becomes your become your ambassadors if you guys have uh internet traffic mastery there's module 10 right i talk about it when it comes to marketing so how can you take whatever you've got okay <coughs> this can be a marketing system that can be turned into a brand i started out by creating a little marketing system for a company uh, but when I learned about separating myself from the crowd, right? I learned it from Dan Kennedy many years ago, about 14 years ago. Uh, and, um, you know, and he says, look, you got to be different, okay? If you do what everybody else in your industry is doing, you're going to get slaughtered, like a lot of people. And so that's when I started to kind of take myself outside of that, you know, of that bucket, if you will, um, and really focus on, on, you know, cultivating my own stuff, promoting other people's programs. Right now, it got to the point to where, you know, we've, we've learned so much uh, over the last decade, you know, in working and kind of teaching these principles and, um, you know, and, and, and as it relates to affiliate marketing, I can tell you this for a fact. You know, it, it, when, when you guys hear me talk about this concept, for example, for the 4% challenge that we have coming out, uh, that like an affiliate marketer can go from zero to, you know, to a $10,000 a month revenue or a year or just a first ever, right? milestone to 10 exit to 10 exit again so for most people they're like dude I can never imagine myself making a lot of money I can never imagine myself making a million bucks and it might not be a million bucks for you it might be 300,000 for you it might be 200,000 for you it might be a hundred thousand right whatever that number is but because we get so conditioned on these low you know on, on our on our current environment and our current situation you know 2,000 3,000 a month that kind of stuff it's, it's very difficult for us to see beyond that, right? But again, if you break everything down, and what's really, really, really important here, you guys, is the strategy, okay? The strategy. If you have the right strategy, it will determine whether you win or whether you lose, okay? Does that make sense, everybody? Miles says, guess I should return my Gucci sneakers. <laughs> no, but, but see, you know, you look at companies that are, um, you look at Rolex, right? I mean, is... is um, it's a great watch, but I'm telling you, man, people that pay, you know, 10,000, 20, 30,000, 40,000 for a Rolex watch, they're not paying for, they're not paying for a watch. They're paying for a timepiece and they're paying for a brand, right? People that buy Mercedes, people that buy luxury stuff, they're not paying for that. Now, let me ask you this. Who do you think makes more money, Timex or Rolex? Okay. What's the difference? Brand. Okay, brand. And so you as an entrepreneur, um, let me ask you another question. What do you think? Okay, what do you think? Do you think 
Timex, and again, at my, I don't know much about Timex anyways, right? So I'm just, I, I'm just throwing these, these, um, these examples out of the, just pulling them out of the air. I might be actually wrong on, wrong on these, I don't know, right? But uh, my suspicion would be, see, if you take a company such as, um, again, I, I really have no idea what their revenues are, but I would suggest, I would assume that, um, let me put it like this, okay? Take a look at, uh, take a look at a, um, take a look at a BMW, okay, and, uh, and a Rolls Royce, okay? BMW and a Rolls Royce. By the way, it's owned by the same company, right? And BMW, for example, 7 Series is like a $140,000 car. Still pretty expensive, right? Right? Um, but a Rolls Royce, a Rolls Royce Ghost, right? Somebody might pay $300,000, $400,000 for it, depending, right, on the model. What is the difference in the work that, that, that goes into, into, into running the, those brands? Not that big of a difference. But here's the difference. The, the, the brands that, that, are, uh, that are selling for a lot more, three, four, five times as much as their competitors or the, the, you know, the, the other stuff, okay, they are more careful about how they're doing things. So, you know, Rolls Royce could be, a lot of that could be handmade versus, you know, the, uh, the other cars might be just assembled on a line, okay? So when I look at my business, okay, I want to compare what I'm doing now to how these world-class companies operate, okay? And so when I was starting out as, uh, you know, as, in a, as an internet marketer promoting other people's programs, I was just so focused, I was looking at the tree that was just in front of me, and that tree was like, dude, I've got this product, I need to sell this product, and I was so focused on the tree. Take a, take a look at this, right? So grab a pen, right, and put it way to your nose over here, and then just focus on that pen right here, okay? See what I'm saying? Look at my eyes. Crazy, right? <laughs> Crazy. Why? If you're so focused on making that, that one sale that you're, that you're trying to make, for that company you're promoting or even your product that you're promoting and your focus is just on that thing that's just in front of you, you might be desperate for money so you're just looking, how can I make a hundred bucks? How can I make a sale? And you, you, you're looking at that, you, everything else becomes blurry. You, there is no future, there is no vision, nothing, you can't see anything else. Do this exercise for yourself. Same thing happens in your business, right? So what we need to do is we need to, we need to go, you know, elevate, you know, elevate yourself, right? Pull yourself out. And so when you, when you look at your your business objectively like that, you start to make decisions that are different, a little bit different. See what I'm saying? But the structure and how we do this, um, <laughs> the structure and how we do this, right, makes all the difference, okay? All right, everybody, so, so here's, um, here's what I'll tell you, in, you know, in the, uh, in, um, at the end of this. Let this marinate in your head. Just really take a look at your business, what you're doing, you know, I really, uh, this is the point uh, of, of today's episode. It's just to kind of let you some, you know, give you something to think about. I can tell you this: this can be the difference between you making five hundred bucks or you making five million bucks in a single year. Here's the, here's the kicker, though: doing the exact same amount of work. Okay, the work can be the same, the energy you put in the same, the it, the money that you're investing is can be the same, right? Because you're running ads. You run ads to somebody else's deal, you have no control, you have no brand, nothing. You're running ads and you have a home and you're building a brand. The budget can be the same, the, the energy can be the same, but you'll have a whole lot more fun running and building your future because there is a future, there is a vision, you see it. Versus over here, like most people, just trying to grind every single day, looking for opportunities every single day, looking for something new to promote every single day because there is no vision, there is no home, there is no target, there is no, there is no nothing that, that pulls them. They're just trying to, they're just trying to do, how can I get my commission today? You know what I mean? All right, you guys, appreciate you. Think about it. Um, I will see you on the next 4% Entrepreneur Show. I promise you, 99 people out of 100 will listen to this message today. They'll be like, all right, great, dude. All right, I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. There's gonna be one person who will listen to this and you guys will go full out on this idea and you'll become the next millionaire. Appreciate you. See you next time.